Hello friends! Today I have decided to show you how to romanticize your life by being your own main character. These are just a few ordinary things that you already do daily or can add into your life to make it even more fulfilling. Our lives can become boring and mundane, so romanticizing them and pretending to be a character can give you that morale boost to make a basic day into a great day. In this video, I'll be taking you through a day in my life to show you what I do to feel like I'm in a teen coming of age movie. When I make breakfast, I play music and pretend I'm in the beginning credits scene. I even have a playlist for it. Here's what I made for breakfast today. Eggs are my favorite staple breakfast item. I love how versatile they are and that you can put so much in them. Today I put cheese and spinach. My blender broke a couple months ago, so now I use a food processor as suggested by a friend, and let me tell you, it works wonders. In my smoothie, I had raspberries, peaches, strawberries, maple yogurt, and mango juice. And last, a couple pieces of bread I burnt a little with some butter. I eat breakfast on a cutting board to make it feel like I am in a restaurant. Makes me feel pretty fancy. Having a fun and healthy breakfast is essential for my start to my day. I'm someone who always loves to get dressed up, no matter what I'm doing that day. It makes me feel more positive and ready to conquer everything I have to do. But today I am actually leaving my house, so I thought, why not try a little harder with my look? When making my outfit, I asked myself, what would I be wearing if I was in a teen coming of age movie? And this is what I came up with. I flashed it up with a few accessories like earrings, necklace, put on some makeup, tied up my hair with a scrunchie, and ta-da! That is the main character energy look for today. I feel like the oversized flannel makes me really look like the queer side character that I am supposed to be. Grabbing my Polaroid and tote bag, which only means one thing, I'm heading out to see some friends. I had to drive downtown, but it was nice to see places in Charlottesville I hadn't seen since quarantine started. I saw quite a few friends, the most I've seen together in a while, and these are friends I've stayed close with from all taking Latin in high school. We met up at the skate park, which is pretty indie movie, and chatted for a couple of hours. And one of my friends even brought his new puppy! I really miss seeing my friends frequently, so it was nice to see some of them and catch up. I've recently been trying to take more Polaroids and pictures so I can bring them to college to hang them up on my walls. I hadn't gone out driving in a while, so I took this opportunity to drive around town and enjoy the views. I ended up driving the route to my high school as a last time kind of thing. It was really weird seeing it so empty. I spent my car rides either thinking deeply in silence or singing loudly to my Spotify playlists. Today was a thinking deeply kind of day. It was nice to be alone with my own thoughts. Something I have been trying to do more often is dedicating time to hobbies that I'm not extremely skilled at. Which might sound super weird to some people, but I want to be 
a more well-rounded person and to do that I need to do things I'm not good at. Today I decided to play around on my ukulele and sing a bit. I sing a ton and pride myself in one of the few things that I can do, but it's usually a cappella with backing track or with others. I'm not very confident with being my own accompaniment, but I'm getting there. I think it's important to spend time on things you like, even if you're not good at them. It's so important to be trying to improve yourself all the time. This town will never change. People come and go, it's all the same. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. Speaking of things that I'm not good at, skateboarding and rollerblading are another two. I bought myself a skateboard at the beginning of quarantine and I bought the rollerblades from Goodwill for $3. It's difficult to find places to ride in my neighborhood since it's very hilly, so I haven't practiced much. Since I'm gonna be in Richmond for college, I want to be able to use both of these as forms of transportation and fun. I've decided to try to spend more time practicing so I can be that really cool girl with the wheels, even though I'm not that cool. They're both your stereotypical indie movie or music video character hobby, so that I practice a bit. After skating around, I wanted to treat myself, and since I'm still being cautious, I decided to make a little ice cream parlor in my own kitchen. I usually never put ice cream in a cone or put toppings on, but I thought, screw it, why not? And I did it. And I felt very fancy. Instead of sitting in my living room alone, I pretended that I was outside on a curb with all of my friends enjoying our ice cream. Sometimes I'll go outside when the sun is setting and take photos, but this time I decided to dance in the street. I have a playlist for this too. It's the end of the movie where not everything is resolved, but most is and the characters dance as the credits roll. I always like listening to this playlist to wind down and have a dance party in my room, so why not have it in the street of my neighborhood? And that was the end of my day. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you take some of these things into your life to be your own main character. I also have a list of fun things to do to romanticize your life in the description down below. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And last, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.